Pneumatic cylinders provide linear motion. What that means is they can push something forward and backward in a linear motion. The first thing you need to specify when ordering a cylinder is the stroke. The stroke is how far the shaft is going to come out. This is a two inch stroke cylinder, meaning the shaft is going to come two inches out from the body of the cylinder. The second thing to know when ordering a cylinder is the bore size. Bore size refers to the capacity inside the cylinder body. The bigger the bore size, the more force the cylinder can exert. This is a three quarter inch bore cylinder. This is a one inch bore cylinder. A one and a half. and a two inch. As the bore size increases, so does the shaft size. Here again is the three quarter inch bore, one inch, one and a half, and two inch. There are also three different types of cylinders double acting, single acting, and reverse acting. The most common is a double acting. This means that air pushes the cylinder out and in using air from both sides of the cylinder. When air comes into this side, it forces it out. When air comes into this side, it forces it back in. A single acting only has one air port. When air comes into this port, it forces the cylinder out and a spring inside is responsible for returning it. A reverse acting has the spring in the opposite direction. The shaft is naturally out and when air comes to the top of the cylinder it pushes the shaft in and when air is released the spring is responsible for pushing it back out. Cylinders also come with several mounting options. Mounting is the way in which you're going to mount the cylinder to your object. This cylinder is a universal mount. What this means is you can mount it from either the bottom or the top or both. There's threads on the bottom and the top. This cylinder is a nose mount cylinder. As you notice, there's only threads on the top for mounting. There are no threads on the bottom. That means that you have to mount it from the nose.